What's up, family? I have an important message that I want to talk about. Um, Y'all, I don't know who in particular have been doing this or have been attempting to do this. But um, I'm going to make this message clear for um, the Child Protective Services. Okay. Um, whoever called you, I don't know who exactly called you or anything like that. But I want to be clear on a lot of things, okay? Um, the issue I have to whom they might have called you or trying to create an investigation with you could have simply said, hey, I want to see that child. They could have simply say, hey, can we make arrangements as an adult without chaos, without toxic energy? But instead, they rather victimize themselves and not respond to text message, not be consistent with phone calls. And when I do speak, it's toxic. It's always a better way to handle things, but they don't want to handle it. They want to involve y'all. So since they want to involve y'all, I decided that I would talk to you personally myself, okay? I have no problem with bringing my child around. The issue I have is putting myself in situations where I will either be jumped, sought after, conflict being raised upon me due to false allegations of how things took place. They don't want to be held accountable to these women that could possibly call you. They don't want to be held accountable for the things they have done or put me through. They rather involve these women who might have called you and make a whole case about it. They don't want to handle it civilized. Because that means they will have to take accountability. So I have went through so much. Because as bad as I be wanting to open up to these same people. They rather follow it with toxic energy. So that's what that puts me as a mother. It makes me feel like it's all about a check. It's all about money when it's not about money. I genuinely love my son. But they make it so hard for me to even want to open up because of this same chaos. They and, and to be honest with you, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in my shoes. If you, and some of y'all probably have children. If you get up every day and make sure your child learn what they need to learn. Do what you got to do. Take care of your kids no matter what. Granted, things are fortunately given to you the way that it is. Instead of them reasoning with you, they rather war with you. I don't like the person that you're dating, so I'm going to snatch your child. I can't sleep with you, so I'm going to snatch your child. I don't like the fact that you got your, you got a house, you got a car, you got this and you got money, so I'm going to snatch your child. Put yourself in my shoes. Is that fair? Truth be told, it's really, it's just time to get down to the bottom of the situation. Because I understand, like I've seen in the news where they're talking about um, 30, 3,500 for a child. Let me tell you something. Y'all have to be careful with putting that type of news out there. Because some people don't really genuinely love these kids. They don't even, and if they do, they can't stand the mother. So how can they treat the child right if they can't stand the mother? So they come up with everything. Oh, she's crazy. She's out of her mind. Oh, she's financially unstable. They came up with every single last thing to try to keep my child away from me when they could have simply created peace, but they don't want that because that means accountability. They want me to play stupid. They wanted me to kiss their butt. But I'm not going to do that because they wronged me. It's kind of like 
you it's like them telling me rap take these leaks Wrap my arm around a pole and just take these leaks. I don't care how bad it hurts. Just take these leaks. And if you run away from this plantation, then guess what? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are for bettering yourself or wanting more for yourself? That's how they make me feel. So excuse me. If I want better and they never believed in me. Excuse me that I want better for my son, but it makes them look less than. That has nothing to do with me. But I'm not sorry for doing better. 